Welcome back. We are here looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. It's going to be my daily forecast for Friday, July 40th, 40, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you want to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our news videos. And we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, it has basically been falling off a cliff the last, uh, or basically this week. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is uh, bearish, and the stochastic is bearish, and so is the RSI. Momentum is definitely to the downside, even though we have a crossing here of the 50 and the 200 moving average. The question is whether or not we basically bounce from this point and continuing and go higher, or we basically break below here and the 50 moving average will cross uh, the 200 again. And so that's the question. Uh, monetary policy in the US uh, is not going to change um, anytime soon, and that will is not very good for the US dollar. So this going lower, most of uh, basically everything else should be going higher. So let's look at oil. So oil did um, make a really nice move today. It uh, broke down, rallied up towards the middle of the bullish band, stabilized here, basically bounced at the 50 moving average kind of twice, and then we broke above the middle of the bullish band. So at this point, it kind of looks like we are going to test these previous uh, candlesticks here, roughly 75. Break above that, then we have the top of the bullish band at 76.81, and that is probably as far as this will go at, in, at this point. We have a crossing here of the MACD is becoming bullish, stochastic is bullish, and RSI is bullish, so everything is pointing to higher levels. Uh, pullbacks will most likely find support at the 50 moving average down at 70.5. So let's look at natural gas. So this is an absolute um, very volatile market, but also a very bullish market at this point. As long as the weather conditions are as uh, they are in the United States and uh, basically in North America, and this will continue to go higher. We didn't even get close to the 20 minute week average before this basically rallied to the upside. Got towards the top of these previous candlesticks here and then pulled back a little bit. But at this point, it kind of looks like we're going to test this. Pullbacks basically are uh, uh, getting bought into really early, as you saw here. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bullish, stochastic is bearish, and the RSI is bullish as well. 20 exponential is holding really well and basically is that is the bottom of this market at this point so down here at the 3.78 is kind of the very lows as this also was the previous highs here so let's look at copper so copper uh, did fall yesterday and then rally today i was hoping to get all the way down to the uh, to the 50 moving average but it did not go that far but at this point it looks like we are going to challenge these highs break above here and then we are going to target these very highs up here at the 4.8 break below the 50 and then we could go back down here but it doesn't look like that is going to be the case macd is uh, bullish the classic is bearish and the rsi is bullish at this point so let's look at gold so gold took a really um, nice run today to the upside and hit the 50 moving average and then pull back. So we did test and test the uh, uh, 50 moving average before, only a, two, a few weeks ago, uh, but break above the 50 tomorrow and the 300 moving average, then this could be in the 1850, then we could go to 1900. That could be the case. Bank D is bullish, stochastic is bullish, and the RSI is bullish as well. Break below this kind of secure, then we can drop all the way down to 7050. So let's look at silver. So silver also rallied up towards the 200 moving average and then got rejected. So we need to break above the 200 in order to go to 50 and then go to uh, 27. Break below the 300 moving average and then we can drop all the way down to 22.5. Technical indicators, we can see the MACD is becoming bullish, the CASIC is becoming bullish, and the RSI is also bullish. The momentum is to the upside, but after this rally day, then that will, of course, affect these technical indicators significantly. Question is, what will happen tomorrow? Whether or not we manage to get a closing above the 200 moving average. So, let's look at Platinum. So platinum did rally up towards the 20 and got rejected there. So it's the same thing. The um, question is whether or not we will have a crossing of the 20 exponential and the 300 in the next few trading, the trading uh, next two weeks, I would say. Uh, but rallies up towards the 50 and the 20 have all been rejected uh, for the last two months. And it looks like we're just going to continue 
and going down. We're going to have a Kronzi gear of the you know, 50 and the 200, and that's a very bearish shine. Stochastic is, uh, MACD is bearish, Stochastic is bearish, and so is the RSI. So let's look at Platinum. Palladium, sorry. Uh, so this managed to rally towards the 20 expansion. Didn't really get towards the 20 expansion, but got really rejected there and lost most of its gain. MACD is bearish, Stochastic is bearish, and, and the RSI is flat. And um, as long as we don't break, if we break above the 50, then this will most likely go higher. Break below the 200 moving average, and then we are looking at the 300 down here at 22, 24. 5, uh, 24.05, as you was supposed to say. So let's look at aluminium. So aluminium rallied significantly to the upside. We're up at the 26 um, and 13. And uh, yes, we basically broke these highs. And now it looks like we're going to target 27.50. But we are significantly overstretched on the edge of being overbought. Technical indicators otherwise are very bullish. So pullbacks are most likely buying opportunities at this point and uh, pullbacks towards the previous highs here that roughly 25.58 should be where we we'll find the support so let's look at nickel so nickel also uh, rallied we're at uh, 19,882 and uh, we are approaching a double top here we're basically yeah right there we have basically a double top here and Question is whether or not we break down towards the 20 exponential tomorrow or we continue higher. We are very overstretched and nearly overbought, but technicians are very bullish and this has been a very, very bullish run. So uh, support should be down here at the 18,855 and uh, after this, then 20,500 should be the next target. So let's look at sugar. Sugar as well got towards the very highs, nearly to the very highs, and created a double top, and we pulled back quite significantly after that. Um, Technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bullish, the Kansas is bearish, and RSI is bearish, and it looks like we are going to pull back towards the middle of the bullish band or towards these previous highs here at 1831. So we are, yes, going higher, and we have basically tested the previous highs here, pulled back quite significantly, doesn't mean that we're going to fall apart or we're going to drop all the way to the bottom, but we could as well. So let's look at cotton. So cotton is still within this channel, the highs here, the lows here, and uh, bouncing off the 20 and the 50 moving average. So we are getting rejected here at 20 exponential, no, the top of the bullet band, and it's most likely we're going towards the 20 exponential at this 0 0.88 to 87. Technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bullish, the Kastik is bullish, and the RSI is flat at this current stage. So, uh, yes, let's look at Kokoa. So, Kokoa continued to rally day up towards the 200 moving average and then really got rejected. So, at this point, it kind of looks like we are ready to tumble yet again as we got re this rejected at the 200 moving average. We are still in a downtrend. We had a really nice rally this week, but um, as long as we're not uh, basically crossing the 200 moving average, I wouldn't uh, bet on this market basically changing its direction anytime soon. We have occasionally had these massive rallies, but they have all been sold into and we're basically making uh, lower uh, lows uh, for the last few months. It's basically since February. So at this moment, MACD is bullish, Stochastic is bullish, and the RSI is becoming bearish at this point. So let's look at wheat. So wheat has rallied yesterday and rallied today yet again. We basically bounced out the 20 exponential, and that is a very bullish shine. Take out these highs here, then we could be looking at the very highs here, up at 750 and 760. Technical, technical needs, we can see the MACD is bullish, the Kastik is bullish, and the RSI is bullish as well. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, and the bell button to see our new videos. And good luck, and thank you very much.